You may have heard that single leg jumping does not require a lot of quadriceps strength, but rather relies primarily on the posterior chain. This belief comes basically just from the fact that uh, the, the takeoff leg, the knee, does not bend very far compared to in two foot jumping. Okay? Now, it is true that if you don't bend your knee as far, you're not going to get as much load on the quads from gravity. Okay? So in the vertical direction. But we have to keep in mind the horizontal. So in a single leg jump, we have an approach. Okay? So we're coming in with horizontal velocity. Then you're going to plant that takeoff leg. You're going to put that foot out in front of you to try to vault upwards off your takeoff leg. All right, so that is going to involve deceleration, uh, significant deceleration. And that deceleration has to happen in a very short time frame in order to have an effective jump. So that means we need very high braking force applied during that takeoff plant. And this happens on one leg, okay? So this actually loads the quadriceps a lot. So effective single leg jumping actually involves massive quadriceps forces. Because of that, there may actually be a trend for great single leg jumpers to be somewhat knee dominant. All right, so that's the opposite of what some people would think. As an example, here's some clips of Simone Severio. He's a 226 high jumper. You're gonna see him do an upright knees forward squat with 2.4 times body weight. Okay, this guy has extremely strong quadriceps. <laughs> Just a word of caution, don't start viewing athletes only through the lens of hip or knee dominance, okay? Uh, the human body is very complex, people are very diverse, uh, they can solve a movement problem in different ways, so don't just start assuming that all good one-foot jumpers are knee dominant, okay? That may be a legitimate trend, though.